Hello, apa kabar semuanya? My name is Vincent and welcome back to the YouTube tutorial in which we are going to talk about step-by-step -step to optimization problems and today we are going to talk about the blending problem so just a little bit uh, of uh, understanding about the blending problem is so first of all is that we are going to talk about how gas petroleums are made so there is their inputs or you call it the crude oils and then after that you transmit the crude oils produce it to a certain way that finally you create gas alone gas sorry gasoline wow gas alone yeah <laughs> anyway I need, I need to drink tea i need to eat lunch so yeah there's a sign for me to do that after this yeah so basically you need to contain like different kind of ratings and you need to mix them so that you have a it fulfills a different kind of standard for example like the octane level and the solver level okay so those are the realistic problem that we are going to tackle today so just a little bit about the data that we have is that first of all we have good all one two and three which has the price so these are our inputs and we have the octane rating of each of the crude oil and we also have the solver content and we have the affordability so we can buy up to 5000 barrels that's what it means right and then same thing for the gasoline so for the gasoline we can sell gasoline 1 for 70 gasoline 2 for 60 gasoline 3 for 50 and we also have some uh, qualities for each of the gasoline so it has to have octane rating more equals to 10 you have to have solver content less equals to 1% and the demand is 3000 to 1000 so these are the demand that we need to fulfill okay so as simple as that right so moving on is that we need to describe the decision variables of the functional constraints so uh, don't take a look at everything first take a look at decision variables first so how much of the crude oil I is used to produce gasoline J? So notice here that it's a little bit hard, uh, harder than the Gita's printing problem. It's because that not only that you need to make sure like how many crude oils that you use, unlike the Gita's problem, but you also need to see which of the crude oil used for which production. So that is... Um, that is a decision variable, so you need to put in two kinds of different decision variables. So the first one is all I and gasoline J. And then you use like X11, X12. So all crude all one used for gasoline one, crude all one used for gasoline two, crude all one to use for gasoline three, crude oil two for gasoline one, crude oil two for gasoline two, and so on. So this is what decision variable mean. And this is just a shorter way to represent that. Okay. Then the objective function is that to maximize profit. But what is profit? Again, profit is basically number of gasoline ones of this 70 minus the productions. For example, how many crude oils quantity times the price. Okay. So again, the short form is just xij which is the how much crude oil i uses for produce gasoline j and times the pj minus ci so pj minus ci is basically 70 minus 45 70 minus 35 70 minus 21 and so on and those are the profit margin for each pair of gasoline and crude oil okay so it's very simple what is the profit margin times the quantity and then for the constraints, we have constraint of the supply, so it needs to be less equals to SI, which is basically this, affordability of barrel, and we have demand and non-negativity, well, well, none of the quantity can be minus or less than zero, so we do it at that. And then for the octane rating, if you see here, what is octane rating? So octane rating is the sum of the, all the octanes, divided by the quantity of the barrels so we can find quantity per liter of gasoline okay and it has to be uh more equals less equals to a certain standard so less equals to oj okay which is the standard of octane 
uh, oh sorry, if I'm not wrong, it should be more equals to. Okay, so more equals to of things. Then the server it has to be less equals to. Okay, so just a little bit of mistakes here. Just change this less equals to more equals to. And if I put in the divider xij to here, it becomes a linear problem because all i and oj is a parameter. Uh, xij and xij here is the decimal variables which we want to find out. Okay, all right. So let's get out from there. Let me change this for a couple of ones. Very quick one. And let's go to the extra sheet. Okay. So these are the decision variables. Okay. These are the data. So you see the data same table that I put inside the PowerPoint sites. And these are the decision variables. We have the constraints here. And what we want to use is that we want to maximize our profit, which is at the bottom here. So contribution and total profit. Okay, so let's try to formulate this one by one. So first of all, what we need to do is that we want to create this total crude all use. Okay, so it's the sum of like this whole row, whole row, okay, whole row. And then we want the total gasoline uh, produce, it's not use, produce to be more equals to, okay. So let me change this to more equals to okay to a certain demands so there you go but why is this why is this formula it's gasoline one so gasoline one is c5 to c7 gasoline two is c d5 to d7 and e5 to e7 so if you see the formula here d5 to d7 d5 to e7 so let's say that i put in one here then it becomes one for each gasoline and the good all becomes three that's good put one again here so if you see here, total gas is produced is 2, 2, 2, 2, and then total all is 3, 3. So it's good. Okay. So let's just uh, remove this. Okay, just delete that. And afterwards, what you can do is that you need to decide your server and octane rating. So what is server and octane rating? Well, for gas in 1, it's quite simple. So basically, you need to us do a little bit of the sum product so sum product is a is a function in excel so you can just sum product here and if you see you can give an array so sum product is basically well i'll show you so comma to array 2 so the array 2 should be the uh obtain rating for crude oil 1 okay so that would be it and then okay let me close this whatsapp message and then if you type on it then you have zero but interestingly if you have one okay then you have 12 so one times 12 equals to 12 and if you have another one you have 18 so you see 18 here so what if one times one 12 one times six six 12 plus six 18 and guess what happened if I put one here? Then it'll become 26. Because plus 8. There you go, plus 8. So 26 here. Alright? So I can put this number here. So basically what it does is that it calculates the first row together. Put one or alternating one. Put all two alternating two. Put all three and alternating three. And then sum up the products. Okay? But one more calculation that we still need to do is to actually the define uh to times also the the 10 x6 here so what do we need to times it as well the constraint will be dependence on the on the quantity of the units so of the total gasolines they are produced so it goes to 10 times this okay f9 and there you go if come if this six then i will need to produce uh more equals to 60 octane okay all right then do the same thing so eight times this one and then this one is six times this one okay so by the end of the day, if I have this, the, 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 
the third and then of course I would like to go for it like that okay there's a bit of error because I haven't packed the octane rating so octane rating is N5 to N7 so pop pop okay and I just drag them and there you go comes up with this right and I need to make sure that it is more equals to this amount right so the easiest thing is that I can do the same thing with the server so what is server server is 0 0.01 times auto gas introduce 0 0.02 times total gas introduced to and 0 0.01 times total gas introduced 3 okay and this could follow the same so I just copy paste this and then put it here uh, silver is O so I change N to O And there you go. Then I replicate it with the other I guess in so for. Okay. So I need to make sure that this is less equal to this. As simple as that. Okay, so what is profit? So contribution is basically well if you know about it, it's another sum product of Okay, we have the price here and price here. So we need to create a uh, uh, reduce. So again, let's see the total revenue. So some product of this, comma, uh, this one, okay. And then we need to pack it. So F four here, minus. So some product also. But now instead of doing with M nine. We start with the M5 to M7, so minus the cost that's generated by the crude oil. Okay, okay, and that should be it. And we get to the whole same thing. And after that, we sum it up to find the total profit which we want to optimize. Okay, so now we have all the things already set up. And the next thing we should do is just solve for them. Okay, so let me try this. Hopefully it works. Sometimes if I'm careless, it doesn't work. But we'll see. So set objective is P24. Different cells is the larger one here. So I want to see what are the combination of crude oil and gasoline produce. And then what I want to add, this has to be less equals to uh, this. Okay. Then add on, this has to be more than equals to the demands. Okay. So, what I will add on also is the oops, I'll reference this has to be more equals to the constraint, which is the octane. Okay, then add on this also has to be less equals to the server contained of the standard. Okay, and that should be it. And okay, done. And make constraint of and simplex and p. So if I solve this, there you go. I find a solution. Everything is justified. And I click on OK. And there you go. So I find that I produce O. I produce 288 and 201 here. here and whatsoever. And I fulfill all the demands that are possible. And of course, then I fulfill all the minimum demands and I find my total profits. So all ends well, it's very good, I find my productions and this is what I would tell to my boss. But just a little bit of side notes before we end the lesson, if you do a software and then you add on that the constraint need to be integer, well, you can do that. So just OK and solve it and you'll find all the constraint is integer. So with that, I would like to put an end to this tutorial and next step we are going to look through um, the next solution which is the marriage problem. Okay, and goodbye and have a nice day.